my coffee's a little chewy today. On this Meatless Monday, we're talking about aquafaba whipped cream. Coming up. Hey, what's up? Ryan here from Alternative Reality, bringing you vegan recipes and green alternatives. And on this channel, we do DIY projects, green product reviews, and vegan cooking segments just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and click that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. At any point during this video, check out the links in the description below where I'm going to list all of the products that I use and other relevant resources. I also want to take a moment to say thank you to all my early supporters. I just reached 1,000 views and I started at the end of October, so that's awesome. That's amazing and thank all of you for that. All right, so let's get into aquafaba whipped cream. What is aquafaba? Aquafaba is the liquid from cooked legumes. Most commonly chickpeas are used and it's the easiest to use. It also produces the best product. If you use the liquid from other beans, it doesn't stabilize as well because there are compounds in it called saponins and they help bind the foam. And it's believed that chickpeas have the most um, saponins in the liquid along with the proteins and starch that really allow the foam to uh, build up and hold. So we're gonna do a whole series on aquafaba. I'm going to uh, do aquafaba in cakes and cookies and meringues and all that stuff. But today is the first introduction so we're just whipping the aquafaba and we can use this as a vegan whipped cream. How long have you been whipped? Whipping these beans tends to really cut down that bean flavor because you're like frothing up this foam and the flavor is like dissipating out. So adding a few things like sugar and vanilla really do kill that taste. You're gonna drain your chickpeas and place that liquid into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna use uh, my KitchenAid stand mixer. And it's best to use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer. Whipping this by hand with a whisk is uh, pretty much a no-go. It's gonna take way too long and your arm is going to uh, hurt after that. So start whipping that chickpea foam until, or that chickpea liquid until it starts to get foamy. And you wanna add in your cream of tartar and let it mix for another five minutes or so. Add your vanilla now and beat that up for another minute. Slowly add in your sweetener while it's uh, whipping. And then you're gonna turn off your mixer, add in your oil, and turn it on for just, you know, 15 seconds or so uh, to incorporate that fat into your chickpea. Take a dollop of this, put it on anything that you want. Put it on your cake, put it on your ice cream, put it on anything, some berries. Um, this stuff is awesome, it's super versatile. Um, if you guys decide to do this recipe, let me know how it turned out for you. Thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. And also subscribe if you want to see the whole series on Aquafalo. If you want to see some other videos on this channel, some other Meatless Monday videos, I will put links in the end card. Till next time, enjoy keeping it green, and I'll see you in the next video. This recipe really piqued my interest. Just thought I'd try to mix it up today. <laughs> Meatless Monday in January.